Now to the shooting rampage in Santa Monica, California, that left at least five people dead, including the gunman. It was a rampage that started in a private home and moved to a nearby college campus. Teresa Garcia has the latest. Police with automatic weapons ran onto the campus of Santa Monica College. Witnesses say a gunman wearing body armor and carrying an assault rifle opened fire on students. He just panned over with his gun and I jumped out of the way and he shot at me. Police surrounded the gunman then chased him into a campus library. The officers came in and directly engaged the suspect and he was shot and killed on the scene. The violence started in this neighborhood. Police sources say the gunman killed his father and brother inside this home, then set it on fire. Just feet away, neighbors tried to help a woman who was shot in her car. Witnesses say the gunman carjacked a vehicle and fled the area, opening fire again at the college campus, killing more people. A guy jumped out of a car with a big black gun and started blasting rounds at all of our cars. Bullets wounded passengers inside a city bus. The driver of this SUV was shot and killed. Doc Wallace rushed to help the victims. She had a head wound. The woman you were helping? Yeah, she had a head wound. Students at Santa Monica College were taking final exams at the time of the shooting. Police locked down the campus and told the students to leave. I said, everybody, let's get out of the library. It started, we all started funneling, and then panic ensued. Authorities believe the gunman acted alone. The college is located just three miles from where President Obama was attending a fundraiser. The Secret Service says the shooting had no impact on the president's event. Teresa Garcia, CBS News, Santa Monica.